Hi, and welcome to today's High Sci Flash. Hope this finds you well. Um, I remember hearing someone say that when you reach your 50s, if not sooner, you will be assigned an ailment. Uh, if I could share mine with you, I believe it is my left hip severe osteoarthritis, which is basically the deterioration of the hip ball and socket joint. Uh, maybe at some point I need a hip replacement in the future. I don't know. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to avoid that process by changing my diet. Um, and believe it or not, even though it hurts, exercise can help get more circulation to that hip joint. So at the same time, I am accepting the fact that that may be uh, an inevitable issue to deal with as far as replacement of the hip. I also don't lay down and just say, I'll just give up and let's have, have the hip replacement uh, right now. My goal is to extend uh, this hip issue for as long as I can, but also exercise at the same time. Saying all that to say, um, as we get assigned these ailments, which not just one ailment, we can get assigned, be assigned multiple ailments when we reach our 50s, high blood pressure, diabetes, you name it, uh, could come our way. Do we just lay down and accept it, or do we do some dietary changes, make some lifestyle changes to make the situation better, hopefully? Embracing dying does not mean that we just give up. Embracing dying means for me that if I use my hip as an example, I don't deny the reality of it, but I also realize that I can do things to make it better. What's your assignment? What ailment have you been assigned? I'd like to hear in the comments. Um, and about what age did you get this assignment for this issue that you have? And if you want to add, what are you doing to make it better? If you can do something to make it better, sometimes we can be assigned an ailment and there's nothing we can do to make the situation any better. Thanks for listening to this high sci flag.